Hey, what is up all my Flaming Astros? BT Astro coming at you with some... Uh, really creepy sexual abuse PSA. This is one of the weirdest PSAs I've ever seen. And I've seen a few. Um, pretty weird. Let's get straight into this. Oh, crap. <laughs> At least, I thought I did. Then, something weird happened to me. It's hard to talk about, but, well, here it goes. See, my mom works, yep. so mom used to pay Mrs. McGregor to keep me at her house after school. There was a bunch of kids like me at her house every day. It was a neat place because Mrs. McGregor always had treats and stuff for us kids. She always had treats for the kids. I see that, but... Don't you think, parents, it's kind of weird that, like, you're, like, some old lady's just giving your child some treats? Like, I get it if you know her, but kind of weird. And sometimes Mr. McGregor would come home early. We all liked him. We called him Mr. Mac. And sometimes he'd pick one special boy and take him out to his workshop. I've got us. Guys, do you hear this? Pick one special boy and take him out to his workshop. Santa's workshop? No. No. Mr. Max workshop. Special job for you today. Ooh, won't that be fun? He'd take me to his workshop in the garage and teach me woodworking. Sign. Look at that kid. He's just like hardcore. Just hammering and Look stuff. That. I like getting work from the other kids, you know. Don't, don't worry. The adult is helping. And Mr. Mac called me his number one helper. His number one helper. Not strange at all. Slow and steady. That's the way, Jake. I'd work hard and get hot. Slow Sometimes I'd take steady. my shirt off. Let's take your shirt off. Mr. Mac said, that's what a man does when he's working hard. I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you cleaned up. I don't even know what a man does. Just gotta, like, rub your tummy and pat your head. Bones. Ooh. Rub That's that tummy. Better. Like that. Yeah. Way better. One Smile day I was painting this birdhouse I helped yep. build. Really shaping up. Thanks. Here, let yeah. me help. Oh, you missed a spot right up there. Oh, no. This isn't a plan for the kid to take off his clothes, because if it is, I'm done. Mr. McGregor spilled paint on me. I mean, really spilled paint all over me and my clothes. Uh, just take off your clothes. Bye. Okay, I'm back after that short, brief moment of me quitting my life. Go on, take them off. I'll help you clean up. So I did. I mean, I had paint all over me, so it made sense. But then, something weird happened. Now, I'm going to take a picture to remember the day we spilled the paint. Yeah. Only for the day that they spilled paint, right? No other reasons? Okay. I don't really want to. Oh, it's okay, Jake. All the other boys do it. Look. And he's showing the kid all the boys their nudes. Okay. He had pictures of all the boys in daycare, and they were all naked. But that wasn't the worst. Clean up. Here's the part that's hard to talk about. Mr. Mac touched my penis. Oh, well, what would you expect for a guy that's freaking named after a Big Mac? And well, I was so surprised, 
I didn't know what to do. I mean, it didn't hurt or feel bad. But it, it only tingled. It made me so confused. Yeah, that feels good, does Just look at his face, guys. Come on. Can't go wrong with this old man face. Just can't. It didn't feel good. It felt gross. I always gross. thought I'd know what to do in a tough spot, but gross. when it was happening, well, gross. I didn't do anything. Oh my I tried to act like nothing happened. What happened to me? The pictures? The touching? He was wrong. It was not my fault. It's called sexual abuse. I'm waiting for the report abuse button to show up. Like, report abuse. Well, guys, that's it for this episode of report abuse. If you did it, if you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe. And comment, even if it's a hate comment, <coughs> Ron, um, I'm still going to make another one. So if I get one comment, they are one like or one dislike, I'm still making another one. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. And goodbye. Peace out. Cucumber squad.